yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, July seventeenth. Welcome to G Star Volume One. That's the name of the EP. Everyone always tells me like, "Yo, drop an album, drop an album." But like, so this is I'm not an to... album. This is just an EP. <clears throat> now, nah, yeah, okay. I'm gonna I'm I'm probably drop like maybe a tape or two before I drop the album. I just want to build up enough momentum and continue to drop music before I work on that solid. The album is different, so it's like, mm -hmm. yeah. And then I got a record so this dropping. Is... I got a. I got a I got a record, but right now I got a, a record dropping at 12 with um TJ. He jumped on the Huskars remix. We we had this record in the tucking for a minute, but we're gonna drop it now, and then within these next couple of weeks, we about to just start releasing new music out the can. And I feel like I owe it to the fans. I disappointed them as far as me just not releasing music. I feel like I don't know. I and I, here's another thing I'm gonna say to the fans because like I, just on a personal level, I got a documentary coming out. Okay. Documentary coming out. We're working on that. I don't want to disclose personal information, but I'm going to do it. I got a documentary coming out, and I just want to, like, really explain the type of person I am mentally, physically, the way I think. And that's it. Like, it's just going to be dope. I I'm, I'm excited. I'm really excited because, I don't know, like, th these last couple of months with my music and everything, I just haven't really been there. Mentally, I just, nah, I just... I put myself in a space where I'm 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 getting to where I want to be, and I just gotta mm -hmm. leave it like that, you know. And as far as just me finding peace, trying to find peace with myself, which is what I got going on with everything going on, I'm just that's really it. I'm, I just want to find peace, and I just want to release music for the fans, music that people could enjoy. I feel like the fans hold me to to a high standard, like they expect me. Oh, I expect Jia to do this. I expect Jia to rap like this. I just want to make music that people could vibe with, music that people could relate to, based off of the shit that I go through. You understand me? Nobody perfect. I'm mm -hmm. not perfect. You understand me? Mm -hmm. Y'all not perfect. Nobody, nobody's really perfect. But I feel like through my music, I can tell my story and I can just spread a little light on who I am. But yeah, that's that's it. I'm not gonna really say too much. So why? So why did you? You really this documentary? You really just felt like you needed to do it. You needed. It was this like a release for you, like therapy? Kinda. Um. Nah. It's. It's. I don't want to say too much. It's. It's. It's a beautiful opportunity that was presented to me, and I'm gonna okay. take it. Okay. And I'm. I'm going with it. I'm just very excited, and I just. I'm really excited. You know. This is. It's funny because I. When I was younger, I used to talk to myself a lot. Like I used to imagine being where I'm gonna be right now. Like I. I used to imagine like yo, I'm gonna have hit. I'm gonna have a hit record. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be known. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be able to like have a documentary this down and third, but. Little by little, I'm kind of getting to where I want to be. So it's like, you know, the the the, the journey not gonna be easy, and it's it's never easy. Yeah. But it's whatever. We gonna we gonna. It's not a big deal. But you, uh, I know your label loves you right now because nah, yeah, you mm -hmm. you work like you're you're so mm -hmm. young. You're 18, right? When is your birthday? September 23rd. Okay, so you're 18 right now, about to be 19. But I mean, from what I understand, you are like. You like let's work, let's do it. What what's next? Like you're ready to jump on the very next thing. Like you don't sleep. Nah, yeah, and you nah, have... nah, for sure. I, so that's one thing. That's one thing I really do appreciate is the label. Like the labels really backs me up. Like they, I don't know, they defend me crazy. Like they defend me over everything. Over you got people that release my music mm. on YouTube and they just be on it. Like oh, delete this, delete that. It's, it's it's crazy like they're really on it when it comes to me it's like they protect me in a way where sometimes i feel like y'all don't y'all don't have to do this y'all don't have to do that like i can handle it but they be helping me but it's it's dope like the label really the label really be looking out for me and i'm a priority at the label so it's like i, I love where i'm at endoscope shout out to endoscope like i'm, <laughs> I'm happy like they they doing their and job you, for and sure. you and you so you're the EP, the new EP is dropping July 17th, but you said that you're dropping two more projects before that? No, 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 no. I'm gonna drop a, um, so look, I'm dropping a project. The next project I'm dropping is July 17th. And then I'm gonna probably drop okay. a project or two before I work on the album. Okay, so you haven't started the album yet? Okay. Nah, not yet. Okay, okay. So with everything going on, like, is your is it like literally like you're not even distracted with everything going on, and you've just been so focused, or has the whole coronavirus pandemic affected you in any way? Like, 
And also, of course, you can't forget the protests because you live in New York. You know what I mean? Yeah. And a lot of the, pro I mean, the pandemic hit New York harder than anywhere else. And then there's a lot of protesting in New York with as the well. protesting with the protesting mm -hmm. I'm happy like that that's not even a distraction or like a that's not even a like that's that's supposed to happen I feel like and I feel like it was long overdue as far as with what's been going on with police brutality and the injustice mm -hmm. the amount of injustice in America so I feel like like when I saw the the video of George Floyd getting killed I'm, I'm just like like we mm -hmm. need protests, like, and I saw that. I think it was Minnesota, right? Minnesota is where it started. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was like, when I saw that, I'm like, nah, we need that shit. Got to be everywhere. Like, I want to see New York protesting. I want to see Chicago protesting. I want to see Atlanta mm -hmm. protesting. I want to see everybody protesting, and we all protested, and then it got across the globe. Other countries were protesting. It became, mm -hmm. a, it became a whole. The whole world started protesting. So I feel like that raised enough awareness on the situation, but that was that was never a distraction. I felt like that was a pause. It was like an intermission as far as with what we're trying to do, like as far as finding peace. And it's just fucked up because inequality and the whole thing with just racism, that shit has been around for, for hundreds of years. So mm -hmm. that shit is just probably never going to go away because it, it's probably never going to go away. But we're trying to do what we can to, to erase it. You feel me? Yeah. So you do. You keep up with everything that's going on. You mm -hmm. try to. Yeah. yeah okay. Man. That's good. So we have elections coming up. Are you mm -hmm. registered to vote? Yo, what's going on with the but I don't wanna say too much, but like I heard was it, I know Hillary isn't she on trial? Hillary Clinton? Mm-hmm. If she is, I don't know about that. I have to look that up. You don't know about that? You didn't hear Hillary being on trial? No, I didn't know that Hillary was on trial. You got, to, you got to school me on something. Yeah. It's all over. She on trial right now. She a pedophile. I had no uh -oh. idea. Oh, man. What is she Am on I trial for? No. Yeah. Why would you be saying too much? That's probably public information that I just didn't know. I thought you knew that. Yeah, she a pedophile. That's nasty. <laughs> Wait, like, a what? She, yo, oh, my God. They're going to kill me. Chill. Stop it. No. <laughs> Leave it. That's that's. They, it's a rumor going on. I don't know. I'm not saying that she is, but it's all over the internet. The whole Epstein shit got leaked. And oh, the Epstein situation. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but they said with her specifically. They 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 targeted her specifically, and they said they found emails. They found okay. emails relating back to some fucked up shit, like some crazy shit. I don't even want to say too much because that's none of my business. But it's all mm -hmm. over the internet. Just look it up. You could go on Facebook. So I saw, it, I saw the crazy, Epstein. Here's the crazy shit. Here's the crazy shit. Okay. They got someone, uh, oh, my God. I don't want to continue this. But you got me on this topic. I, I don't know how I brought myself here. Election. <laughs> I'm going to this right here. They got so much money, it's not going to be broadcasted. They're not going to hear about it. Well, so I know, I saw the Epstein documentary. And I know there was, like, a lot of very high-profile names that were included and involved in his, like, pedophile ring and clinton was definitely a name that came up but i didn't realize that like she was so deep into it or allegedly yeah allegedly and i don't know uh who knows maybe maybe it's not real i hope not but that's that's the, that's the accusations right now but yeah okay so well she's not running for president <laughs> but it, elections are coming up so are you going to be voting yeah. Um, who, who, okay, perfect. Bernie Sanders. I need, can, to, I need to make sure that you're registered to vote because this is very important. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm 18. I can vote. Um, isn't is Bernie? Can, can you still vote for Bernie? I, I think I heard you he cannot. A lot, candidate, we can't. No. Mm -mm. Mm. Bernie got knocked out. He got knocked out by Joe Biden. So Joe Biden is the Democratic candidate, and Trump is the Republican candidate. Yeah, now nah, I'm gonna have to go with Biden. <laughs> I don't know. Yes, that's a good choice. That's a good yeah. choice considering what we're working with right now. That's a good choice. But yeah. So talk, so talk to me about, I mean, I know that right now you love the space that you're in, but talk to me about like other goals that you have. Like, are there other things that you want to get involved with or is it like strictly, let me just think about music and I don't want to think about anything else. Like, would you want to, you know, get into acting? Would you want to get into um, like, you know, starting up a different type of business? Um, yeah, definitely. I'm investing in real estate. Okay. Um, 
on top of that, I would definitely, I wanna, I wanna direct a movie or a series. I'm working on, I, I have like a whole plan in my head that I wanna definitely create. I don't wanna say too much though, cause then I'm afraid somebody's gonna take the idea. But now, yeah, I definitely <laughs> wanna, um, I wanna direct, maybe even a star in a movie. But, okay. Yeah, and then, and then like the whole real estate situation, investing, yeah. And that's, that's amazing. No, Do you have any experience at all, or this is just something that you're interested in and you're gonna learn as you go? Um, I've acted before when I was younger, but like not not crazy. And I, okay. I was on cameras before, as far as like the, the whole the whole reality television show. Yeah. So I kind of know what it's uh, like to be behind a camera, but yeah. Okay, that's dope. I'll watch. Make sure it's good. Of course, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so talk to me about your tour. Mm, yeah, the, um, we just we finished it in February. We started it um January fifteenth, I believe. Mm -hmm. And that it was dope. It was, it was it was amazing. I feel like as far as like the the amount of fans that came out to support me, I, I enjoyed it. And it was my first headlining tour. We had sold out New York three times, I believe. Mm -hmm. And then um we had other sold out shows, but it was it was definitely just eye opening. Cause yeah, it, it was. I loved it. Like it, it, it changed my whole perspective as far as what I was doing and what I thought I was doing. It, it raised awareness. Okay, so the first time that I, the first time that I, well, I think it was like I heard your song on the radio and I was like, let me see who this is. And then I ended up searching for you online, and I came across like a bunch of your videos where you were like, you know, battle rapping people, and mm -hmm. I just. Listen, I I don't even know what to say. Like the one of the ones that I saw, I don't know where you were. Like I don't know what venue it was. But you came up and you had this whole big curly ass fro on your head, and you uh -huh. were just so small compared to like the person you were going up against. But you seemed so fearless, and I was like, yo, this kid like has something. Like for you to be able to just like not have, not be intimidated. You know what I mean? Like because that's an intimidating setting. Mm -hmm. And you and you were probably like fifteen, maybe sixteen. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Fourteen. That is yeah. crazy. Absolutely nah, yeah. crazy. So you've um, come, you've come a long way. No, nah, then for sure, I definitely did. Like, like I, I mean, I, I started writing when I was twelve. The whole like rap battling thing, I just, I don't know. I, I always enjoyed watching it and doing it. And I just happened to be good at that age. I had like a whole different type of like mentality and and crave when it came to music. I used to, yo, I, I like when I tell you this and I'm not lying, I used to like freestyle mm -hmm. all day, every day. Like I would just rhyme words in my head all day, every day. And my favorite, wow. rapper, was, my favorite rapper was Eminem. And I had, 